Alison Berger here for Blockchain Global News. I'm at Token Match in New York City, and I'm now sitting with the CEO of Impact PPA, Dan Bates. Thank you for joining me. Thank you, Alison. Good to be here. Good. I'm glad to hear that. So tell me a little bit about Impact PPA. So Impact PPA is a renewable energy company. Okay. And what we do is we generate electricity from wind and solar, mm -hmm. and we manage that electricity from generation to payment on the blockchain using mobile devices. Wow. Primarily, we work in developing nations all around the world. Okay, so are we in development? Are we already out there? Where We're are out we there. At? Yeah. We're out there, yeah. We've been do I've been doing renewables for about 10 years now. Okay. All over, we're delivered in more than 35 countries. We've got megawatts on the ground and installed. About a year ago, mm -hmm. we added a blockchain piece to it. Okay. Which would enabled us to connect finance to projects so that people could now understand mm -hmm. when you put money on the ground in Africa, this is how you get paid. So There's how have you seen it change, not only within the 10 years, but within adding blockchain to it? Exponentially. So being able to provide a clear payment rail mm -hmm. so the end user can now buy electricity on an as-needed basis, prepay, using their cell phone, much like the way they transact in Africa on the M-Pesa platform. People mm -hmm. trade minutes for goods and services. Mm -hmm. Now on their cell phone, they have tokens, or what we call the gen credit, mm -hmm. which allows them to access electricity. So what market will have the most impact with this? Oh boy, the world. Okay, I know that's very grandiose that sounding. Is. But if you think about Africa, if you think about rural India or Latin America, even some places in the United States that are unconnected, mm -hmm. now people have the opportunity to purchase power if they don't have credit. You get a bill at the end of the month, right? Tells right. you how much power you use and what you gotta pay. Most people don't have that luxury. But that doesn't concern you with have people not having credit and being able to... And as long as they have a cell phone and they can go down to their local kiosk or their local mm -hmm. store where they're already going, right, right to, to load their phone, uh -huh. top it off is what it's called, with mobile minutes, now they do the same thing for electricity so they can now have power at home, giving rise to education, mm -hmm. better health care, something as simple as a fan, being able to charge your cell phone. Those are things that are quality of life improvements that you and I take for granted. Right. This way, people can now have access to energy, which gives rise to improvements of societies, right? Everything. Yeah, everything. That's great. So what has the reaction been so far today at Token Match? The reaction's amazing, right? We've met really great people, have had wonderful conversations about what we're doing, mm -hmm. how we're deploying. We just signed a contract with the government of India to bring 50 million people, 50 million women, we will lift them out of poverty using the blockchain and renewable energy. So we're able to now share that story with the folks here at Token Match. That's fantastic, and congratulations. Thank you. So where do you, it, it already seems like it's growing, but what do you see the future? What do you, what's in the future for Impact PPA? Electrical domination. <laughs> All right, no, we're going to just keep doing what we do. We work hard, uh -huh. we try and bring a solution to people who are pretty much ignored, mm -hmm. right? There's 1.2 billion people around the world who don't have access to energy, and there's billions more that have inconsistent energy. Mm. We can now improve those lives. Did it have an impact with in Puerto Rico with what has taken place in the last year with the hurricanes? Ah, uh, the Puerto Rico question. Mm. We <laughs> are not yet working in Puerto Rico. Okay. I can't tell you how many conversations I've had and are ongoing about how we can provide a solution for them. We're working in Haiti. Just down the Caribbean from right. Puerto Rico is the west coast of Haiti, which was wiped out by a hurricane two years ago, Hurricane Matthew. Mm -hmm. Same situation as Maria, right? right? But these people have been ignored. Two years later, they mm -hmm. still don't have power. We turned the lights on in a city called Les mm -hmm. about two or three months ago. First wow. time in two years. Mm -hmm. That's where I'm working right now. I would love to work in Puerto Rico. There are challenges there that I think I'll let other people sort out, and then we'll be able to work more freely in that in that country. I like the sound of that. That Thank would you. help. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it sounds fantastic. So what do you think people are walking away from today at Token Match? Or what are you walking away with? Um, I'm walking away with just a good experience of meeting people who are interested in blockchain. Mm -hmm. Who, we're, the reason we're here is we're all looking for money, right? We're all 
looking for investors to come in and support our vision, our dream, our technology. Mm -hmm. I think we've got a lot of those conversations ongoing and I'm hopeful that they will turn into reality mm -hmm. and will help us grow our business. What do you say to those that are non-believers? Is this live television? Or can you beep it out? No, no, no. I, 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 I'm not involved <laughs> in that part. <laughs> you know what? That's what makes a horse race, that old expression, right? Uh -huh. This project may not be right for some. It's perfect for others. That's what, that's what business is about. I we like can't that be attitude. all things to all people. That's true. Well, you were a lot to me, Dan. So thank oh. you for joining me today. So until next time, I'm Allison Berger for Blockchain Global News.